Hey, it's Johnny McGovern, and you're watching Ring My Bell. Let's see what y'all motherfuckers have to say. Hello, this is Johnny. My name is Drella. I'm from Utah. How is it doing Ring My Bell? Right now, it's delightful. I'm, I have made them put the, the full RuPaul force of lighting on me, so I look like I'm 21 right now. I'm glowing. So that's the secret to looking perfect, it's just lighting? Gee, oh, of course. How do you think Mariah Carey looks so good all the time, even when she's on the subway, because she carried an entire lighting package with her? You have to aspire to always travel with your lighting. You need a five to six person lighting crew. Bring them with you, soften it up, and soon you'll be like RuPaul or Barbara Walters, just a beautiful, soft angel floating around. Hello, this is Johnny. This is Terry. I'm calling from Little Rock, Arkansas. Well, hello, baby. What's going on? I was about to watch your head queen with uh, Miles Davis Moody. It's a very delicious episode. I tried to get him to do the episode shirtless, and he was a little nervous. So we compromised on a two titty out tank top. So you're gonna really oh, enjoy be great. it. I'll, oh yeah. I look mm-hmm. very forward to that. And getting RuPaul was just the biggest coup ever. Wasn't that a delight? The energy was so amazing in the room that day. I knew when he stopped the interview, didn't stop, it was like, uh, do y'all have time for stories? I said, he said, yes, we do. We're all good. When we asked for, so we had time for stories, I knew we were all good. I remember you from World's Dumbest. You do? My obscure yeah. credit from six years ago? Wonderful. <laughs> They still play that, though the reason I don't do it anymore is because I said, wouldn't it be nice if I could be paid for this? And they said, no, you don't need to do that and we're never calling you again. I said, oh, well, well, feel free to rerun it for six years. <laughs> I've never talked to a celebrity before. This is amazing. Well, here it is. It's like diamonds and money falling through the phone and rainbows and unicorns tromping off my tongue through the phone to you. You're going to be get rich just after hearing my voice. Hello, this is Johnny. Hey, Quine. Hi, Quine. <laughs> oh, I think I know who this is. Who is this? This unprofessional girl. <laughs> this is a very unprofessional girl. I'm getting yeah. paid right now to call you. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. That's how unprofessional I am. I'm my gerb. Oh, you go, girl. I like that you call it from your gerb. Um, what is your what is your question, hunty? I just want to know: Are you professional or unprofessional? Oh, I am uh, of all parts, both half professional and half unprofessional, girl. Okay, and then here's my other question. Oh, okay, it's a two-parter. If you could only if you could only have lunch with Maya Angelou or Oprah Winfrey, which one would you pick? Ghost of Maya Angelou, hands down. Definitely for lunch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, champagne wishes. And faggoty dreams. Molly, you in danger, girl. I don't know what to do. Slutty face. I smell a slutty oh, face. Oh, yeah. I smell a slutty face. I smell a slutty face. It's time for you to get your slutty face on. You can just spend all your time grindering and jacking and uh, scruffing. Don't develop a sex addiction. Keep it safe, but, you know, get that dick. I was wondering if you wanted slash or planning on doing another Gayest Weekend of All Time. Yes, and we bring all the podcast stars together from both coasts to somewhere tiny and gay. We, I loved doing it at the Little Flamingo Resort last time because it had a disco and a bar and a pool all in this tiny little shitty resort. And we're thinking we're gonna try to do it a little closer to my current home, so we're looking to try to do it in Palm Springs in the fall. You definitely wanna come to that because the last one was legendary, honey. What? This is your favorite, this is, I've looked better than I've ever looked. Thank you, that's so nice of you. Are you nice not picking up the audio on this call because I'm hearing it loud and clear? I'm the most handsome? You're just 21 and a very tight, lean, Olympic-level athlete. That sounds really good. Here, can you cut the audio off this? Because I didn't make this call private. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Hello, this is Johnny. Hi. Oh, hi. Is this Erica Toraviance? Because she sounds so soft and beautiful. Who is this? Richie. Oh, hi, Richie. How are you? Are you telling a secret because you're speaking very softly? <laughs> no. No? Are you just a bad, bad girl? 
You've no. been locked in the closet? <laughs> no. That one was scary, kind of. Was that a ghost? Was that a ghost or something? Oh, snap. Ghosts are calling. Three, five, three, five. I wore this on, on like a RCV cruise and they said, hey man, ah, and I was like, sir, I'm not aware of what you're speaking. <laughs> this is merely a grand facade to make myself look masculine. And it worked. And it worked, bro. Hey buddy, let's go throw some fucking balls around. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Don't forget to subscribe to WOW Presents. Look at it up there, look at all gay and stuff. And don't forget to find all my videos on The Johnny McGovern Show on YouTube. But you're on that. Probably around there somewhere.